Hey folks, I'm back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon you all. Welcome back to day six of my fasting progress. People, let me tell you something. It's been a challenging day. It's been a surprising day and it's taken me are back, my wife are back, my family are back because of what just happened. The thing that I'm about to tell you is this, my wife was meant to go into labour Thursday, which was on the 11th. Today now, a couple of days later, she's gone into labour. But the funny thing is, she went into labour before she even reached the hospital bed. That's the funny thing because it happens so fast in the short duration of time. And this is the lesson that I wanna share with you guys. What do you do and how do you respond and act and react when the unknown unfolds? And the funny thing is about this situation is either whether you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation or it's a group dynamics, there will always be a handful of people who are composed, who know what to do, whatever situation unfolds. Meaning, they don't always have the answers, but they just seem to be okay in that situation. They seem to be okay to stress that situation. And then you've got another handful of people who are just panicking. It's all manic, chaotic. And when you're dealing with one-on-one, -on -one, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, the dynamics is either one person panics and one person is calm, or they're both panicking, or they're both stressed, or they're both really composed and they're trying to help each other. This is the thing, do you add stress to the situation? Whatever situation unfolds, do you add stress to it? Or how do you respond? How do you act and react? This is the thing that I learned from this experience, is to stay calm, to, to be really composed, and to be adaptable and flexible, because whatever situation unfolds from the unknown, you need to be adaptable, you need to be flexible and try your utmost best not to aggravate the situation. That is the lesson I've learnt from this experience today. And that is the sort of thing that I thought I might bring to your attention and share with you. It's been short, it's been sharp, and it's been sweet. And I hope that you stay tuned for day seven. So people, until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.